If you've been thinking about moving to Capitol Hill, you can read blog posts, you can read websites, news articles, you can watch YouTube videos, you can do whatever you want, but nothing is going to be experiencing what it is like to live out in Capitol Hill and walk around the city better than actually being here. And I'm gonna give you the next best thing. You're gonna live this through me. Hi YouTube, I am Kareem Howard with Girl Lock Homes. If you wanna see more videos like this, then please feel free to subscribe. I like to post community tours, property tours, anything related to the Denver real estate market. And I post videos weekly, so you definitely don't wanna miss an upload. Without further ado, let's get into what it's like walking around Capitol Hill. Now before getting into this video, I had a list of things that I wanted to talk about. This dude on Reddit said that parking is fucked. And I wanted to experience that myself. And so I made it a task. I was like, I'm going to go to the Colorado State Capitol building and that's where I'm gonna film the intro of my video. And so I drive here, Maps is like five minutes away from my office, I get here. I haven't even started my video yet and I wanted to start at the Colorado State Capitol and I couldn't find parking. So parking's already cooked out here. It's a 12 minute walk from where I could first find parking because there's construction sites, all the street parking was full and it's also like two o'clock on a Monday so everyone should be at work or like out of here anyways. I don't know why it was so hard to find parking but this video is not starting off to a good start. So that myth is definitely true. Parking is absolutely fucked here. Another myth to just get out of the way on my walk here is a lot of people said that homelessness is a really big issue. Now I already have an office downtown in Denver, so I know how bad homelessness can be. There's like tents parked on the sidewalk. There's different things like that. And so when I was walking here, I was already, I had to walk past Colfax. Everyone knows Colfax is like the hub for homeless people. So there definitely was a lot of homeless people. I didn't film them because I don't know if that's weird to just start filming homeless people, put a camera in their face. Hey, are you, are you homeless? Like, I don't know what you're going to do there, but definitely a lot of homeless people. Parking was definitely bad. We already got those out the way. Oh, I said I was going to wander and I already got lost. I, as someone who's born and raised in Denver, I still have no sense of direction. So I get lost wherever I go downtown. So we're going to go to the closest place near us, which is the Molly Brown Museum. We're going to hit that. We're going to look at maybe some homes, some apartments in the area, and then we're gonna go to Cheeseman Park. That's the route that I routed. Everything's gonna take like 40 minutes. It's like a two mile hike, basically. We'll see how it goes. It's a walkable city. We're gonna walk. We're here to walk, guys. We are in front of the Molly Brown Museum. These are some crazy places. And this place was called the Bartholomew, built in 2004. The museum's closed right now. That sucks, but wow. Seeing it in person, this place looks amazing. Maybe I'll get up nice, close and personal, but this is a crazy looking place, but I'm kind of scared. When I was reading through different forums and like web posts about the Molly Brown Museum and some of these historic homes, people were talking about how they're haunted. They think the third floor is haunted. I'll read you guys some of that script maybe, but they think that this building and some of the older buildings are haunted and the workers that clean the buildings and like volunteer to help them out said they see stuff, they see girls like, they see rocking chairs, they see faces, they see orbs. I'm spooked. I don't feel anything right now. This isn't a ghost hunters video though, so. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right there is the Colorado State Capitol. So I came from there, I crossed the street and then I came here. I think it was about like a 10 minute walk, but it was a really nice walk. Some nice scenery, saw some cool apartments. On my walk over to the Molly Brown Museum though, we found this cool apartment complex called the Acacia, I think. A lot of these apartment complexes definitely like older and it matches the whole aesthetic of this neighborhood, but I think it's pretty cool. It's a lot of apartments, a nice chill walk. I didn't really see that many homeless people over here, but I think I'm getting further and further away from Colfax. We're gonna start heading to Cheeseman Park and see if anything changes, but right now I'm loving this neighborhood. I'm loving walking around, this is cool. Well, I was going to walk to Cheeseman Park, but it's like a 20 minute walk and then I had to walk back and I was gonna film there and I only have two hours on my parking. So I was really nervous about getting a ticket. So we're gonna walk back and we're just gonna drive to Cheeseman Park, but we can also just test out the parking. But on my way there, I saw the Denver Art Museum, which is, is right behind me. And so I was like, why not stop in front of the Denver Art Museum? Because it just brings back so many memories. I used to come here on field trips as a kid back in middle school and just seeing it now, it's been years since I've been here, but it's honestly, it's such a cool place. I really like it. I think it has, I, this area is so cool. Everything really is within walking distance. Um, on the way to Cheeseman Park, there was a King Supers, so even the grocery stores are on within distance. But man, does everyone walk? So I'm looking around, and I don't even know what these people are doing. Maybe I should start asking them, just shove a camera in their face. But everyone walks here, and you walk to your office, you walk to get lunch, you watch to get coffee, you walk around for fun. Some people were telling me that they just walk around because he was bored, right? Like, there's just so much walking. It's such a cool area. Just left the Denver Art Museum, and I was just walking back to my car. It's another, like, 10-minute walk. 
And I'm like, wait, is that Civic Center Park? Everything's just so close to each other. Every time I take a step in one direction, I look around and it's like a new different landmark. So we're gonna take a look at Civic Center Park and then we're gonna go to my car and then we're gonna go to Cheeseman Park. Now right now it says the grass is closed off. I don't know how you close off grass or how you even regulate that. But look at this. It's absolutely, I think they're taking, oh my gosh, they're taking wedding photos. There's people right there taking like photography shots. There's a photographer down there and a bride and a groom. I don't want to impose, so I'm just going to keep walking. So this is going to be the last stop of the day. I am in front of Cheeseman Park. I drove over here because I didn't want to walk. It was like one and a half mile walk. Then I had to walk back. I'm in front of a school right now. But also the best part is I found parking immediately, which is cool. So I'm, now I'm just having a short little walk over to Cheeseman Park and then I'll give you guys the final verdict. Okay, so my final verdict, should you move to Capitol Hill? Honestly, yes. I think this is a really cool area. Now, I can't speak to most of the things like crime if you leave your car in certain areas for certain periods of time, but I think walking around Capitol Hill during the daytime was amazing. And if you're going to visit Colorado, if you just haven't visited Capitol Hill, go drive to the Colorado State Capitol, park your car anywhere, and just walk. I walked for like two hours, found so many landmarks, so many things, so many cool shops, restaurants, so many cool people. It was really cool. I think the people that are going to like this the most are active people. My feet hurt and I'm already pretty active. So I think people around like their 20s, 30s, 40s maybe would really like this Ape neighborhood because you can walk if you have a dog or if you want to get a dog. This is the perfect neighborhood to have a dog. I think it's just such an active community and it's such a really, really cool neighborhood. And I do think that you should move out here. I am Kareem Howard with Girl Like Homes. If you have any additional real estate related questions that you wanted to ask me, then please feel free to reach out. I put all of my contact information down in the description and I'd love to chat one-on-one. -on -one. I think it's a little bit more personal than just these videos, but if you have any other video ideas that you kind of want to see, any neighborhood you want to see, feel free to comment that down below. I will see you guys in the next video.